Hey guys, Andrew with Pride Movement Fitness here. Uh, this video is coming off the cuff, guys, so this might be a mess. But, <clears throat> I had kind of this idea come up because of something I'd done a few years ago um, where I was 100% clean, like absolutely no deviation, all whole foods, yada, 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 for 30 days. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's something like realistically 95% of people have never done and will never do. So it was interesting for me. And the idea kind of came up, most people aren't gonna be able to do 30 days. Can people do a week? I think, yeah. I think a week is very doable. But, what's the real benefit of doing a week? So I kind of bounced that around for a little while and thought about it, you know. Are people really gonna see any massive, drastic change in their body composition? Probably not. Are they gonna see a, like, a marked difference in how they feel? I think so. Uh, will they be sleeping better? I think so. Will their energy levels be a little better? Will their digestion feel better? I think so. But the thing is, that's not necessarily what I think the purpose of going a 100% perfect, all whole natural foods, uh, that's not what I think the real benefit of it would be. I think that it's gonna make you finally actually look in the mirror and address a few different things. Seven days. Let's think about that. How long is that really? It's not all that long in the grand scheme of your life. There are 52 of those every year. So it's one of those, okay? One 52nd of your entire year that you have to be 100% perfect. If you can't do that, that means one of a few different things. One, your goals aren't nearly big enough to make you commit to that, or your pain is not big enough to motivate you to do that. You know, if it's somebody who wants to lose 10 pounds and that's it, obviously they're not gonna be that motivated because it doesn't really matter. On the flip side, if your dad just died of you know, obesity-related illnesses and you have diabetes and your leg is literally and metaphorically, well, literally, on the chopping block because of diabetes-related complications, you're probably pretty fucking motivated. But some people aren't, unfortunately. And this is gonna make that pretty clear to you. Two, the other possibility for why you can't commit just one week is you unfortunately don't have the know-how. You don't understand how to actually prepare food. And that's okay. It's more common than you actually probably think. A lot of people don't know how to cook. And it's not a bad thing, but it is a bit shocking to, uh, uh, like it's, it's, it's a sobering realization how many people don't know how to cook. But that can become your next goal, is learn how to cook one or two or three meals. And it's, it's a huge step in the right direction. Three, and what I think is the final piece here, um, is that, okay, oh no, I lost it, guys. Okay, so we had motivation, we had know-how. Um, oh, the third one would be you are severely, like, underestimating how bad your addiction to food and how bad your relationship with food is seven days and you can't say no to you know we're gonna say far end of the spectrum candy or maybe not so far into the spectrum um you know some boxed salad or something like that how bad is it and why is it so hard well it's probably not that it's hard to ex accept it's that you you aren't really aware of it and I think going for seven days, 100% perfect, is going to be a huge stepping stone in the realization that you are a lot more capable than you realize, or two, you need a lot more help than you realize, and that's not a bad thing. 
but it is something that is very important to realize. And we can debate the legitimacy of sugar addiction all day, but I think that if you can't abstain from it for seven days, your argument's pretty much bullshit. So if someone is willing to take an actual try at this and commit for seven days, I am giving you my free services. You can message me and I will do my damnedest to keep you on track. And I would love to help somebody out with that and just monitor it and kind of be the person who they can speak with in confidence and know that I'm not gonna be giving you any shit during the process. So I hope this video helps guys and I hope some of you guys are willing to do this. So until next time, my name is Andrew with Pride Movement Fitness. 